Hello there, Cancer. It's time for your February 2021 tarot reading, the big one. <laughs> I'm Michelle B, and I create tarot readings for passionate women and feminine individuals. For those of you who are um, not subscribed, a little introduction to me. Those of you who are already subscribed, you already know. Who they Passionate women and feminine individuals who want to live a life of uh, exciting purpose, abundant prosperity, and beautiful romantic love with yourself and then with someone else if that's what if that's what your desire is. This is what I call my triad of awesomeness and that's where I let it, I put all my focus. And uh, for the monthly readings, what I like to do is start with, my camera keeps wanting to go out of focus because I'm over here on the edge. What I want to do is start with um, what to embrace for the month of February and what to leave behind. And then I go into that, the triad, the purpose, prosperity, and um, romantic love. And um, I reflect all of those concepts together, bring it all in together, and then um, just do like a quick overview for the month. And if you want to go in deeper and find out more, I've got a comprehensive, a deeper reading over on Vimeo that goes on for another 20, 25 minutes. So if you want to have a good chunk of time to really think about your, about your plan, whoa, what to embrace? That already wanted to come out, what to embrace. And let's see, someone else, Taurus. Taurus also got this for what to embrace for going forward. In the month of February, the Ace of Wands is that creative, exciting, passionate, like purposeful, masculine drive. I'm speaking specifically to feminine individuals, masculine folks. You can also watch if you feel like that's those, these are the message, messages that you need to receive. But you know, I'm I'm talking about feminines that want to live in in balance, right? So if you've been a lot more in the dreamy state for a while, the imagination state, this is this is a uh, this desire to make it make your ideas come to reality and it's something that's really exciting about embrace that love it love that time it can also you know it's 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 about embr embracing the masculinity but you know it can be a very sexy card too embracing the you know what <laughs> if, if you're into that right but you know embracing the passion embracing the excitement what to leave behind for cancers for the month of february what do Cancers need to leave behind? Oh, leaving behind the idea that you're stuck. The Eight of Wands, if it's in the upright, it's fast moving energy towards something that you're, that's really exciting. But like if you've had stagnation in the past, there was, there has been quite a bit of stagnation since we were in that Sat Saturnian energy for at least the last year. That, that deep, like, introspective um, coming to terms with what you've been doing and, like, clearing it out of the way. So there's there's been a lot of, like, kind of, like, stuck, stiff energy for a while. And it's it's it's, a, it's about letting go of the idea that, that things aren't mo moving for you in your favor. It's about grabbing your future, grabbing what it is that you want, grabbing it, right? and not feeling like it's out of your reach. It's like it, all of the all of the, the positive forward working moving momentum is in your reach. It's there for you to get. What is it that you want? What is it that you feel you deserve? That was a little download that I got for you cancers before I even started was getting embracing what I deserve. Embracing and what you deserve. Another download that I need to that I need to speak to those cancers that need to hear it. What you deserve is what is in your head. <laughs> that's what you deserve. You don't have to prove yourself in any way. It's just if it's in your head, that's what the universe, that's what God, that's what you know, that's what your angels, your higher self, that's what is what you deserve. <laughs> that's what you are meant for. All right, so now I'm going to go into the purpose prosperity and love and I'm going to bring it all together with that what to embrace and what to leave behind so let's start with the purpose how you how you work in the world how you 
like feel good about yourself, how you give gifts to other people, what you present to the world around you. It's not necessarily about the money. It's not necessarily what you can get out of your relationships. All right, are we going to have any... I want that one. I want the volunteers. Okay, so there's, a, yeah, there's some confusion, lots of choices. When the Seven of Cups comes up, it's all about having a lot to choose from and not really being sure about which one to choose, which thing to choose. If, if there's a lot of if there's a lot coming at you, especially if you've spent, been spending a lot of time on social media, it seems like there's all these things that I could possibly be doing, but how do I go about doing it? And, and, and particularly if you've got one thing that's like a really big idea, you're like, how could I even get started? I don't even know my way to get there. I don't even know what to do. But the message, the affirmation that always comes up for me with, with Seven of Cups is that when you decide on that one thing, that's a, that one really big thing that's really significant to your higher self, that calling that you feel whispering to you when you're really quiet, when you decide that you're going to embrace that, you're going to grab it, all of these clouds part and your path is clarified one step at a time to get to where it is that you want to go, to get to that satisfaction and fulfillment with what you're doing in the world. Let's take a little peek at what we're going to look into deeper in the comprehensive. Any volunteers here? This one. It's the Ace of, or the Knight of Cups, but it's in the reverse. Mm. Knight of Cups in reverse. It's this one cup, right? This one cup and this one cup. And it's like, well, when is somebody going to bring it to me? Nobody's going to bring it to you. <laughs> Nobody's going to bring it to you. You got to go get it, right? Nobody's, you see this, this guy's like bringing a cup and there's the cup, right? And you're like, well, what, how, how is that going to be easy? It's not, it's, it's, I want to say that if you're working from a place of inspiration, it is easy. But the first thing is to be inspired, right? Um, if the path oh you know what i'm feeling i'm feeling like it's it's saying how do i put this in words take it from what's going on in my head to being in words um i lost it goodness gracious thank you for being patient with me cancer one more there it is there it is it's that the higher self is telling you this is what this is what's here for you. This is this is this thing is for you. And you don't have to wait for somebody else to make it to make it like easy for you. This your higher self is like no one's standing between you and what you want except you. <laughs> you don't have to have permission from somebody else in order to be able to get what you want. The higher self, like I said, your higher self, God, source, is like it's given you this inspiration and you don't need to deserve it in any of the like um, mundane ways that we think that we can deserve it. Like we, you don't have to go to grad school for it. You don't have to have all the money set aside and ready for it. You don't have to have all of your ducks in a row when it comes to all of your other responsibilities. This thing is meant for you no matter what. And I feel like if you're like, it's going to be so hard to get there. All you have to do is have faith in each step of the way. And yeah, it's like, it's like you're going through the, walking through the darkness and you've got like a flickering candle. And as you take each step, you can see a little bit further. You take each step, you can see a little bit further. The higher self, source God, when you're, when you're, when you're, you know, having your prayers or saying your mantras or doing your meditation, you get these teeny tiny, teeny tiny little downloads, what the next step is. It feels good. Therefore you do it. It doesn't have to be hard. <laughs> Each step is not going to be hard. Cancer, you're so intuitive, so in touch with the, with the other realms, the non-material realms. 
And so it might be very hard for you to make a concrete plan. I feel like that's okay. It's okay for you not to have a concrete plan, not to be organized as you're going forward. It's okay for you to just do one thing at a time as you feel inspired. It's carrying you though. That eight of wands energy is carrying you. And it's it doesn't have to be fast paced in order to be successful either. Because this night is moving at kind of a slow pace. It doesn't have to be a fast pace in order to be successful, in order to be productive. So we're going to look further into that. We're going to look deeper into that in the comprehensive reading further on. But right now, whoop, abundance. This page of swords, it's Gemini energy in the archetypal personalities. And like his energy can be a little bit, a little bit brash. I'm looking at, I'm thinking about your prosperity, your abundance, your health, the resources, the things that you have around you. And it's like, it's saying um, not to be really hasty in your choices. The, the things that you're excited about, the things that you're passionate about right now, they don't, they're not going to cost a lot of money. So don't feel like you need to dump money into getting permission from other people. Don't feel like you need to, yeah, make some like quick commitment to anything that's not called for yet. It's not time yet for you to make uh, big financial commitments into the things that are exciting to you right now. Let's, let's find out more for the comprehensive reading for cancer. Let's find out just a little bit more about what we're going to talk about. There's that king of pentacles. He's very wise and also collaborating with other people. He's very wise. He doesn't, he's not going to just like throw his money around. There's another thing. When it comes to your, your prosperity, of course, you want to like work toward increasing your income in a, in a steady manner, not necessarily a fast one, right? So he's, he's very wise. Um, I, I am getting the impression that there are going to be some, you know, get rich quick kind of ideas that are coming in for you to be able to do the things that you want to do. That's not the route to take. But if someone that you trust, someone that you admire has some suggestions for you, hold on a second and listen to that. This is Capricorn energy. It's on the other side of your astrological axis. It's the, the father, the father kind of energy, like the masculine, the wise masculine, and especially in the material realm with those pentacles. He's a person that can give you some good advice. I don't think that this person would ever advise you to invest in something that is, um, that is not that's like, that's, that's, that's moving too fast. This energy, especially the month of the energy that I feel for the month of February, it's a little bit crazy with all the, like all the Aquarian energy lining up things, unexpected stuff can happen. Surprise stuff that lands in your lap without you, without you, like, with you, you're like, is this something that I should do something with this idea or like this suggestion? Should I do something with it? I don't know. Ask this person, even if it's like a person, like an archetype, an entity inside of you, get quiet and be like, is this the right thing for me? Is this wise for me? I think that that entity is going to be like, no, you know what, what you should really be considering putting your energy into is the collaboration with other people. That's not going to, it's going to be a collaboration based on skills and not on you being the person that's investing in, investing in it. And like I said, I'll be going further into this in the comprehensive. And finally, let's look at the LUV, whether you're in a committed relationship. I'm going to start that one over. Whether you're in a committed relationship or if you're, um, you know, looking for one or you're totally happy being single We'd be look, talking about self-love, but let's look at the theme. And that's the Six of Swords. Sometimes all of these concepts run together, and sometimes they're a little bit separate. They do bleed over into each other. Like I said, it's a, like a, a steady-paced energy. 
even though you're excited about something. This Six of Swords, it really does indicate um, having to leave something that's it's, it's occupied a lot of your thoughts, having to leave a situation. Like in the romantic realm, it's, it indicates having to leave something, but it's in the reverse. So I was just like, wait, don't, don't rush yet. Don't rush. Like whatever cancers need to hear this, it's like don't rush into taking off yet. It's not time to do something yet. I always say follow your heart. If your heart says... If your brain, if your like ego is saying, I'm not going to tolerate this situation anymore, but then like your heart's like, but no, I, I don't feel like I, I should do this yet. Don't. And it's not time. Like I said, it's not time for moving quickly. It's time. Like, and the, the energy is steady moving. It's not fast. Yeah. It's not time to make any quick decisions. Let's get a little bit more clarification. And you know, when I go into the comprehensive, I'm going to look at like your, the, this, the several different situation that's uh, romantic situations that cancers can be in, whether they're in a committed relationship, whether they're in a, a one or more situationships, whether it's just like no commitment, but you're looking for one or, you know, you're single loving it or looking for a relationship and not in anything right now. I'm going to look in all of those, but let's just get like a quick clarification on the direction we're going to be heading in. Yeah, this is about using your wisdom. I like that we had both the Capricorn paternal energy and the, the, like the single wise guru kind of energy. I like both of those being here. I just, I really see you tapping into your solitary inner strength, the opposite side of your axis. It's like this, like I said, the masculine energy that's really calming, really soothing, and really helps you pull it all together. Helps you pull that, yeah, makes you feel a little bit more stable with what you're doing. So if in the past you were feeling like I might have to leave something that's that's really unsatisfying for me, it's like the energy is like, okay, well, let's pull this, let's pull this together, right? Let's, let's ask, let's find out the truth. Let's, let's ask our, our guides, you know, let's, let's pray to God or let's, um, uh, you know, ask the higher self, the high priestess and the high priestess and the hermit, I think are like the, the masculine and feminine of the higher self of the seeking the truth. It's like truth through intuition and truth through logic. Um, so it's like, there's this like whole, this whole, this like whole completeness of you asking yourself what's true. Um, you asking yourself what it is that you really need. Um, and it's like, don't, don't, don't work too quickly. You're inspired, but don't work too quickly. Just pace yourself. I, I am going to close this out here. If this, these are the messages for you cancers. If for the month of February, if we leave it off from here, um, if this, this reading was meaningful to you, feel free to subscribe, give it a thumbs up so that the messages can get out to more cancers. And, um, if you're interested in going a little bit more in depth, I give it another 20, 25 minutes um, over on Vimeo. There's a link in the description box below this video to take you there if that's what you would like. But I love you, Cancer. Things are inspiring and exciting. You're getting more in light and aligned with your higher self. You're feeling a little bit more clear, even if it's just a baby step at a time, right? All right. Love you, Cancer. I'll see you later. Have a great month.